December 7, 1952. London. People are dying in the streets and the government is calling it weather. Three days earlier, a cold fog settled over the city. Nothing unusual for London. But this wasn't fog. Factories, coal fires, car exhaust trapped under a layer of cold air. The pollution had nowhere to go. Within 24 hours, people couldn't see their own feet. Bus conductors walked in front with lanterns. Ambulances couldn't reach hospitals. Then people started dying. Thousands flooded emergency rooms, gasping for air. The sulfur dioxide burned their lungs. The particulates choked them. In five days, 4,000 people died. In the weeks after, another 8,000. 12,000 dead. From breathing. Winston Churchill was Prime Minister. His government's response. Downplay it. Call it flu season. Blame the weather. Churchill worried that admitting the truth would hurt Britain's industrial reputation. Documents show he resisted any inquiry. It took four years and public pressure for Parliament to pass the Clean Air Act of 1956. This should be taught alongside the Blitz, Chernobyl, Bhopal. But it's barely mentioned. Why? Churchill's wartime heroism overshadowed his peacetime failures. The smog didn't fit his legacy. Today, Delhi, Beijing, and other cities face the same crisis. Air pollution kills 7 million people annually. The 1952 smog proved pollution isn't just discomfort it's mass death. And governments still downplay it. Follow it on this day in science for the science stories they tried to bury.